it. Welcome to another Juice TV virtual visit. We are thrilled to have you guys watching along. So welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Pri and I'm from the Juice Crew and I'm so excited to bring you guys along this amazing adventure that we have this morning. And I want to introduce our amazing superstar hosts who are going to be leading this adventure. Let's give it up for Rowan and Cooper. Hello guys, good morning. Good morning. Hey Rowan, how's it going? Good. So good, guys. Who is it's excited bad, about okay. today's visit? I am so excited. Me. Yes, yeah, me. Rowan is. <laughs> Cooper is. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. so good, Cooper. What's been happening? What's been happening this morning? Oh, well, I can't really do that much. My knee's like not working. Oh no. So, no. Laying in bed. So. Laying in bed. Hey, that's still fun sometimes. Yeah. Having a little bit of a relax. Not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Coop. Well, hopefully um, your leg is feeling better. Is there anything you're looking forward to once your leg gets better? Um, oh, going back to my mates. So. Um, so good. I'm going to talk to them a bit now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope some of your mates are watching. Do you want to give them a shout out? G'day, Tyler, Lane and Campbell. So Those good. Good friends. Yep. Tyler Lane Campbell, shout out to you guys. Oh, so good. And Rowan, how are you doing over there today? Good. So not good. That bad. Now, Rowan, not, not bad. And Rowan, you actually put in this special request for today's guest. How cool is that? Yeah, it's Todd Waters. <gasps> I invited Did you. I'm supposed to. I'm 108 now. Oh, you just revealed the name. I love that. <laughs> You know what, guys, should we just get him on the call? What do you reckon? We already know who it is. We're all here for it. What do you think? Should we welcome yeah. Australia? Yeah. One of Australia's most extreme sports stars. And guys, he's tearing up the tracks all over Australia, all over the world. Let's give it up for Todd Waters. Woo Yay! Hey, guys. How are we? Good, thanks. Good. How are you going? Yeah, good, good. Thanks for inviting me. Awesome to to be on board and having a chat with you guys. So good. Yeah. Oh, Todd, we are stoked to have you. Rowan, Cooper, Todd, Todd, Rowan, Cooper, meet the gang, we're all a gang. And Todd, we're so excited to ask you a few questions. So we're just going to get straight into it. Rowan, what do you think? Do you want to go first? Yeah. Well, all right, hey, go Todd for it. Waters. Hey, Todd. Hey. Hey, what? Rowan, how are you, mate? Uh, I'm good. What, what do you get up to when you're not riding? Well, Rowan, when I'm not riding, I, I love the beach. That's probably my favourite place in the whole wide world. And I really enjoy oh. going out with uh, my fiance, Gilly. And oh. we go out surfing a lot. I love to surf. Yeah. Uh, do you like going to the beach? Um, I, like, I like the Gold Coast beach. Beach. Yeah. Oh, so What's good. Your breakfast, my favorite breakfast? My favorite breakfast? Yeah. I love avocado on toast and yeah. love eggs also. So I put a uh, poached egg on top of my avocado on toast. Oh, yeah. But when I go riding, it's, uh, I leave very early in the morning sometimes. So it's a bit difficult to eat along the road. So I make a smoothie. And I like to put raspberries and blueberries. I put Greek yogurt. Banana. Um, what about banana? banana? What about yeah. the banana? Yeah, we put banana in there. <laughs> we, we put a scoop of protein powder. Yeah. Yeah, what about raw egg? What no, about raw not egg? raw egg. No, do you eat <laughs> raw egg? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's bleh. It's bleh. What's your favorite breakfast, Ron? Um, bacon eggs. Bacon eggs? Oh, yum. Do you like bacon? Do you like bacon egg burgers? <laughs> um, yeah, but I like bacon egg muffins from, um, McDonald's. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who doesn't love what about guys at the motocross track? At the motocross tracks when they do bacon <laughs> egg burgers? Um, I like They're also J, like... I touch waters. 
Yeah. And do you know what HJ's means? No. Nah. It's like it's like hungry jacks. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah. Oh, what about you, Cooper? Join the combo. Uh, what about you? What's your go to brekkie? My go to brekkie, probably cereal of some sort. Cereal of like, some sort. <laughs> yeah. What sort? Probably Fruit Loops. What sort of probably Fruit Loops, because that's what the. Oh yeah. 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 Just because tastes good. So I'm going to eat Oh, it. the healthy guy. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Cooper? Yeah? Hey, Cooper. Um, fruit roots have sugar in it. Yeah, they have sugar in it, yeah. I'm not... <laughs> I need to get a bit healthier, but I like them. I'm a bit addicted. Well, yeah, like fruit roots? Like, yeah, I like fruit roots too, and I like Sour Patch Kids too. A lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, do you yeah. know what, guys? I was looking into Todd Waters a little bit, Todd. I'm so sorry. I did a little bit of research and um, we actually found out that you might be a little bit of a chef in the making and it might be a secret talent of yours. We've actually got a little clip that we want to show you and then I want you to talk about it. So what's happening in this clip? You got, you got this esky, you're chucking out some like eggs, some ham, you got some flour, you're, you're mixing it in a bowl with some sort of like machine, you, you put some oil in there, you, you're cutting up your pan and you're, you're laying it down, you're, you're making something amazing. I, I can't even keep up. You got flour and then you're using your bike to cook it up and rev it up and there you go, voila, you've got this amazing plate of food. So, and you are definitely enjoying it. So Todd, tell us a little bit about your cooking skills and the different techniques that you might be using? Yeah, so that's a interesting, interesting question. I do love cooking. I spent a lot of time in Europe, so I had to be um, self-sufficient and I learned how to cook. Unfortunately, in that video, it doesn't show my finest moments, but it's, um, it was a lot of fun. That was a, a bit of a fun project that we did um, called Moto Chef and see and a lot of mess going around. Um, and yeah, the purpose behind it was to to have a, a, a big mess and then to show the, at the end a, a beautiful meal for anyone at the track. So <laughs> love it. That's uh, that was just a bit of <laughs> a bit of fun. And for myself, I, I love creating fun fun videos and having a bit of a personality. Um, I like to try and stand out a little bit. So I really enjoy doing projects like this, and I hope. Uh, <laughs> A lot of the kids got to laugh out of it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, it was so, so good. So, from your experience then, what is your number one cooking tip that you want to share with everyone watching? Number one cooking tip? Um, for me, nutrition is quite important with racing. So, I always try and have a mixed, mixed diet of, uh, you know, my plate always consists of carbohydrates, so whether it's pasta, rice, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, a good one. Um, your protein in some form of steak, chicken, um, or fish. And then always steamed vegetables. We like to have a lot of vegetables or salad. Um, so that's probably how I create my meals. And I'd love to get on the barbecue because I'm Australian. so. We always love to fire up the barbecue and, and get our meat on there and, um, you know, try and enjoy the, the outdoors. I love getting out the beach or camping. So I guess everyone's lives, you know, revolve around food. So I try and create a good atmosphere. So, you know, whether we walk across to the beach and we uh, have a bit of a barbecue down there at the beach or um, whether we're at the track enjoying it with, with um, other families. It's, um, I really enjoy eating food with, uh, and making it fun with the people around me. Love it. Love it. How good is food? I love that. Everyone can bond over loving yeah. food. Right, Cooper? Yeah. Food's good. <laughs> food is so good. And Cooper, I'm going to hand it over to you. What questions do you have lined up? Oh, I was going to ask, what's your favourite track you think that you've ridden on? And where is it? Let me do it. my friend. So there's a... There's a big list of favorite tracks, but here in Australia, oh. um, you know, I spend a lot of time at QMP riding uh, during the week, but I really like the sand of Coolum. Um, 
So that's on the Sunshine Coast. It's the black sand oh, yeah. track, um, really physical. And probably I love it because of the weather as well. It's always nice and, and warm and sunny. It makes me feel good. So the whole the whole uh, environment of racing or riding at Coolum, I, I really enjoy. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. What about you? Yeah. What's your favourite? Oh, I don't race, but I've been doing, I was going to get into yeah. it, but until it hurt my knee. But there's a track oh, yeah. at home. In um, Cool Gun yep. Valley, it's a sand track is pretty nice. I, I enjoy that track a lot. Got Gun Valley Johnson. and Mackay. Yeah, I'm from there. Gun Valley and Kamala. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that would have to be one of the best tracks in Australia, actually. Yeah, raced, yeah, it's uh, pretty. Yeah, it's incredible. I've raced there in 2009. Was the last time that we raced there. Uh, it's a fantastic track. Like the, the big jump that you almost hit your head on, uh, the gum trees, as they, they hang down, oh. there's a big jump over the canteen. Oh, over it? That, they must have, oh, they probably change it for uh, big where people. the canteen is up on the hill and you, you hit the big jump. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah I didn't... Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't quite... I was tempted to hit it, but uh, oh, I don't think I was at that school level yet, but I was getting close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's on track there. Yeah, yeah, I'm from yeah, I'm from Serena, like all up the road from. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh great! From, I, we did a, a coaching clinic at uh, Gum Valley in 2018, and we stayed at oh, the yeah. at just next to the Serena. We went to the school pub. Oh, Kamala. Yeah, and Kamala. I don't know the name, but yeah, it's the little pub yeah, there on there. the corner. Drive yeah, yeah, yeah. To just like up the road from the um, Gun Valley, from the track. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Kamala. Uh, yeah, yeah. We own a little great. property like just up the road from there. Well, 250 oh, right. acres. That's yeah, yeah. That's, that's not a little from. Oh, well, <laughs> it's little for some people. Like there's kids up there that <laughs> have heaps more land than us. Yeah. So do you have um, cane on there? Oh, we got cattle, and on we got another one on Serena Range. It's hay, hay and oh, cattle. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. I'm from Cairns, so a little place called Atherton up in the hills. And oh yeah. My, my granddad has a beef cattle farm. He has 750 acres. Oh yeah. So he, yeah, we got, beef yeah. cattle. Oh. Yeah, we got two two 250 acre blocks. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So you're right. You have a track yeah. on your farm. Uh, yeah. We um, these people used to race. Um, we bought off them. It's, um, yeah. The Duns. Yeah. They they had real nice. They're real good riders, and they had track on there. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Learning all about these tracks and the land. What about you, Man. Rowan? What's your favorite track to ride on? Um, Gap Creek. I like Gap Creek. And say, so, hey, Touch Waters. Nice. Yeah, right. Touch Waters. I got a Colin Pine shirt on with Rowan 55 on the back, Y55. I'll give him. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah. I can see it with orange. It looks awesome. Yeah. So, Rowan, what's your favorite gear? Your favorite riding gear? Uh, orange helmet. Orange one, yeah? Do you know why? Why? Do you know why, Todd? Because it'll protect your head. Yeah. What sort of bike did you ride? Um, a KTM 50. Oh, wow. That's what I started yeah. on. Oh, yeah? Now you got now yeah, you got a Husqvarna. Now you got a Husqvarna 250 XF. Yeah. Yeah, and I ride a 450 now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm on the big bike. I'm the 450. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, I was on the one two five, but yeah, I hurt myself now, yeah. so I'll be off for a while. But yeah. Yep. What have you done to yourself, Cooper? Me oh, I fell off and tore, uh, broke two bones and tore my ACL and MCL like off the bone sort of. So yep. yeah, it's pretty bad. They they thought it's pretty, they said it was a bad like a big operation. So, have you got yeah. a, a splint on at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I got a splint on. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not very comfortable, is it? But one no. thing, it will it will pass, and these things make us stronger. I've had plenty of injuries in my time. Yeah, same. I've, yeah. I was only I was only broke my foot like two months ago. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very or well, coordinated. I guess that's the right word. <laughs> no, these things happen. Unfortunately, yeah. when you're when you're getting out and you're doing stuff that others aren't, it's um, yes, the the risk is there. But obviously, you know, I I ride a motorbike four days a week. Um, I turned professional when I was 16, and I'm now 30. And yeah, of from the age of 16, it's been my job. And um, of yes, I've broken bones, but you know, I've probably I've had a a head injury, and I've had maybe five broken bones in that time. So, you know, it's uh, it's something that we take a lot of calculated risks, and that's something that you know, some advice that I can sort of pass on is is trying to limit the risk so that you're within your your riding ability, um, and just have fun with it. You know, we have a lot of fun with riding motorbikes, and and the great thing with with being a motorbike rider is, as you know, it's very difficult to do it yourself. So there's a lot of good, stable families. Um, it's a great family environment. Uh, you know, if you're racing a motorbike at 12 years old, you have to have a good, supportive mum and dad. And um, that's what makes going to racetracks really, really fun because the family environment's what I really enjoy. I love going to the junior races and hanging out with the parents and the kids and um, it's something that the parents are sharing a bond yes. with their kids with. So oh, yeah. that's a lot of it I really enjoy. It's, it brings a lot of uh, people together and a lot of fun. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> so Todd, how would you say you sort of bounce back from these injuries? Like what, um, what advice can you give for, you know, these guys and anyone out there who's going through an injury right now? What sort of, do you have like any words that you would tell yourself or like you've just talked about your family was supportive. What sort of helped you get through? Um, just really staying positive. Uh, for me, that's the, the biggest thing is being positive. I've had a lot of, you know, I've had surgeries and um, probably my biggest injury was in Holland. Um, I come over a jump and there are lots of riders crashed on the down ramp. It was just training during the week and um, long story short, I, I broke my my leg, so my foot was facing the wrong way. I uh, broke my hip, my collarbone, um, and I dragged myself off the track and I just sat there and there were eight riders sort of all crashed around. And um, I was the last one hopping the ambulance. So I was there for maybe two hours, waiting for the ambulance. Um, and in that time, it, you know, I'm in Holland, I'm in a foreign country, uh, not many people speaking English. It was a very scary time, and the one thing that helped me was just always keep it positive. You know, I I kind of joke about things, and like uh, my teammates would walk over and go, "Oh my god!" Like you know, when they all ran over and seen my leg face the wrong way and stuff, and and I just made a silly comment like, "Oh, is this not meant to be on a 45 degree angle?" You know, <laughs> it just you know, trying to keep positive, trying to make you know a little bit of fun of it it's not you know there are some very serious injuries but um for you cooper it's it's going to get better you're in good hands here in australia we have a fantastic um medical system you know there's a lot of countries italy and these places where you know trying to get medical help is very difficult so really appreciate the people who are helping you so when the nurses come in just Thanks very much. Thanks for helping me out. And you will get better and really focus on your rehab. That's what I really put a lot of time into was my rehab. Um, and I'm very thankful for that, you know, getting movement back in my wrists. Like I've got full movement in my wrists um, where I broke a, a scaphoid and it was dislocated. You can see a bit of a scar there. Um, so I really put the time in working with the with the hand therapists and um, you know, just always put your best effort in and 
and use it as a bit of a challenge. And that, I believe, keeping it fun, keeping a goal and uh, trying to get better, that helps you uh, move forward um, and not feel sorry for yourself. That's probably my yeah. biggest uh, advice. So good. And stuff Love like that. this, like, you know, it's great. I, I think this is fantastic for you guys to be able to come on here and, and have a talk to each other and it really keeps it fun. Um, this is something that I've never, never been involved in and that's exactly what I'm talking about here in Australia. Like this sort of stuff is just priceless. You know, it's, it's amazing what, what we have at our fingertips and just really take the time to stand back and, and appreciate that the people that are around you trying to help and because it is easy to get stuck in that rut where you feel sorry for yourself and um, feels like the world's ending. Um, but yeah, there's always there's always that bit of hope and there's always uh, something that we can work on and keep ourselves busy. That's good. Very good. Oh, great words, Todd. What do you think, Rowan? Keeping positive? Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah keep it positive. Keep it positive, Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Rowan, do you have any other questions that you wanted to ask for Todd? Uh, no. Nah, all good. What we'll other sport back... do you play, Rowan? <laughs> Rowan, what sort of sport do you enjoy playing? Um, soccer. Soccer? Awesome. Yes, soccer. What's, Are what's you in a soccer play, club? Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a soccer club now. And, and hey, Todd, yep. what's your favourite yeah. food? Hey, favourite food? Oh. Yeah. I love gelato. Oh, yeah? Do you know, mm. do you know what gelato is? What? It's an what Italian... Is. Yeah, gelato is an Italian ice cream. It's a very creamy, soft ice cream. And it comes in mm -hmm. lots of different flavors. My, What's your favorite? Um, um, my favorite food is um, ice cream with um, chocolate, vanilla, and raspberry um, ice cream on top. Oh, yum. That's yum. a lot of flavors. With, with a cone on it. Have you ever put Milo on top of ice cream? No, never. No. Oh, you need to try that. Put some scoops of Milo on top of a of um, vanilla ice cream. You'll love it. Yuck! Yeah. No, it's really good. No, it's yuck. <laughs> it's yuck, Todd. It's yuck, Todd. I swear. It. Oh, <laughs> Rowan, Rowan's not taking your advice, Todd. He's not taking it. No. I love that this has come full circle. We're talking I'm, I'm about not taking it, again. Todd. Hey, Todd. Yeah? Todd, I don't have any mile at home. Oh, yeah. Don't you? <laughs> That's a way to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cooper? Join the food combo. Favorite food. Let's get oh. back onto the food topic. <laughs> oh, probably a big steak or something. That one that I cook because. I reckon I'm better at cooking than Dad is at and the Barbie. <laughs> Throwing your dad on the bus there. Do you like crumb steak? Oh, not really. I just like a normal, I don't know, steak from the butcher. Just yeah. 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 Oh, from the Sweden pub, I got a crumb steak from there with Diane oh, yeah. sauce. Yeah. Really good. The um, the the one. The one in Serena or the one in um, Kamala? Oh, Kamala, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, I really go to that often. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's good there. Cause yeah, yeah. yeah I like the I like Kamala Pub, but I don't go there very often anymore. Cause yep. when they close up the Serena range, I'd go that way. But I'd, now it's open again. I, we just go to the Serena one if we're going to go anywhere. Yeah. For like lunch or something. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. We've received some good food recommendations. Oh, you go, Todd. Go for it. <laughs> Todd, you go for it. What's that? 
Oh, what were you going to say, Todd? Don't ask why I'm so good either. What was, oh. You're going to say something? What, so what's your, what other sports do you play, Rowan? Uh, Cooper, sorry. Oh, well, I just, I was going to, I'm going to get into mount working a bit more because it helps with fitness, yeah. but yeah, I like that. Yep. I used to play footy, but oh, I, don't yep. know, I didn't really want to do it this year. So I got a mountain bike instead. Yeah, okay. so I seem to enjoy What's that on the bike? I got a Trek Fuel EX5. Like it's pretty nice. It's better than yeah. like, what I need. Yeah, that's awesome. I really enjoy mountain biking as well. We've got a lot, a lot of good yeah. mountain bike trail down here on the Gold Coast, and uh, oh, yeah. we use that for cross training. Yeah, it's. I really enjoy getting out on the mountain bike. Yeah, I, I pet, there's a trail thing at um. Down the road for me, sort of. I pedal there. Yeah. You had to pedal up this massive hill and then go back down. That's pretty hard. Yeah. But good fitness, though. Yeah, it's it great. Feels fitness. like an accomplishment high, when I finish. It's high intensity, isn't it? Gets the heart rate up. Mm. Yeah. Especially climbing up the and, hill. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I do a lot of cycling, and it can it can get very boring because it's just a long straight road. Uh, whereas mountain mm. biking really enjoyable because you go right up the up the mountain range and then there's a lot of jumps and different obstacles on the way down a little bit more to what we do in motocross so it's good fun yeah I think that's why I like it as well it's similar to motocross and motorbikes yeah. and stuff so coming from Serena do you go fishing oh uh, I'm not really in the in the fishing that much but he, most of the Matt? kids are up there. Most of the kids yeah. are. We, only, we have a big boat in that, and but we don't really go out that often. Or my, I, don't no. know, I don't really like seafood that much anyway, so I'm not. Yeah, okay. Dad Dad loves fishing, but I don't know. Yeah. I'd, ra I'd rather just like motorbikes and mountain bikes and stuff. Yeah. I think, I'm, the, yeah, I think okay. I'm, caught, I'm not very good at the knots or anything either, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not really my thing, so I just... Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's right. But, well, when I go home for Christmas, we go out the Great Barrier Reef in Cairns, and we go fishing till twelve o'clock when the sun's straight up and down, and then we jump in with our spear fishing guns, um, and yeah, we go spearing, which is really fun. We normally get like a nice painted cray and um, some yeah, some nice coral trout and different bits and pieces. It's mm. good. Yeah, I normally go and catch like red emperor or something from the reef. Yeah. In the big yeah, boat, yeah. yeah. I want I want to trust I want to trust spearing one day. But Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really enjoyable because you're just snorkeling along and you see all the, the coral with the the different little fish and sometimes you get a l really sidetracked. I spend half an hour just snorkeling around looking at everything. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Watching how much I add yeah. <laughs> So good. Yeah. Guys, we've received some, such good advice from the fishing yeah, community and you got talking about steak and all of the tracks in Mackay. It sounds like we ought to get up there very soon. What do you guys think? A little uh, road trip to Mackay. Mm. Well, I don't gotta, that'd be good for me. I can just stay home. That's right. We'll just meet you, we'll just meet you there, Coop. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Well, Todd, we actually like um, have a lot of kids who are massive motocross fans. Unfortunately, they all couldn't join the call today, just like Rowan and Cooper. So one of them actually sent in a little video question specifically for you, Todd. So is it okay if we play it for you now? And um, the question is all yours to answer. Yeah, great, Preet. Sounds good. All righty. Well, this question is coming in from Jackson. Hi, I'm Jackson Jones, and I'm a patient from the Children's Hospital, and I ride motorbikes. And how young were you when you started riding, and what type of motorbike do you have? Bye. Great question, Jackson. Thanks for reaching out. So I was, I was quite young when I started riding. I uh, had a little QR50. Um, and then I went on to a KDM 50. So that was at the age of five years old. Um, I'm from a little town called Atherton up in far north Queensland. It's an hour inland from Cairns. Uh, we come from the farming sort of community. So I spent a lot of time riding on the farm, riding up in the hills, 
um, before racing my first race when I was six years old. So mum and dad, we went to my local club called the Mariba Motorcycle Club and that's where it all started. I started racing at six, um, then we continued on. Uh, you know, we used to do good at club level, um, final Queensland level. And then we went down to Adelaide to visit my uncle and we raced Australian titles and I uh, ended up winning my first Australian junior championship at the age of 12. And that's uh, pretty much where my mindset changed to wanting to become a professional motocross racer. That's when I kind of realized that if I work hard enough and commit myself, that it could uh, could become a reality. And that's, uh, that's where it all started off. And when I turned 16, I turned professional and started racing for the factory KDM team. So it was a pretty, pretty fun journey. And, and now, you know, 30 years later, I'm, I'm racing for factory Husqvarna here in Australia. Um, I've had the opportunity to race all around the world in 2014 and 15, I raced for factory Husqvarna in Europe. So I lived in Holland and we raced all around the world. We got to race amazing places like Brazil and Mexico and Argentina, um, France, Italy, all around Europe, um, Thailand, Qatar. So along our racing journey, we got to experience a lot of culture and um, see different places and eat different foods and it was a very good time of my racing career and now due to COVID it's making it a little bit difficult to travel so uh, my fiance Jilly and I we had a little baby girl this year so it's a new life experience for us now. Yeah, so exciting. That's so beautiful. Well, congrats on your newborn. And thank you so much for asking that question. I'm um, answering that question, sorry, from Jackson. That was so good. And yeah. you've also visited a lot of countries, which sounds awesome. And I want to mm. know about your favorite country in a second. But we also have, um, we actually had another young boy who was meant to be on the call. His name is Hudson. So I was wondering, mm. can you just give out a quick hello and a shout out to um, Hudson? He unfortunately couldn't send in a question, but he definitely wanted to um, meet you and say hi to you as well. Hudson, thanks for reaching out, buddy. I hope all is well and maybe we can catch up soon. If you see me around, make sure you pop over and, and uh, we can have a bit of a chat. So good. Thank you. Yes, shout out to Hudson and everyone else watching along. We hope you guys are having a really good time so far. Now, Rowan and Cooper and Todd, we've actually prepared a special game for you guys to play. So you guys ready to play our game? Yeah. 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 Yeah, awesome. Very good, very good. Well, what's going to happen in this game? We are doing our first ever rapid fire trivia challenge, okay? So you're all going to be working together. You've got two minutes on the clock. I'm going to ask you a trivia question each. And what you need to do is you need to answer it as fast as you can. And all of us are going to add up how many questions you all got right in two minutes, okay? So... I'm going to read them out. It's going to be super fast, super rapid. We're going to go Todd, Rowan, Cooper. Todd, Rowan, Cooper. Are you guys ready? Are we good to go? Yeah. Yep, let's so go. Good. Let's get that. Two minutes on the clock. Todd, this is your question. I think, oh, our time has started. How many legs does a spider have, Todd? Hey. Yes, ding, ding, ding. What is the name of the toy cowboy in Toy Story? That's for you, Rowan. Um, Woody. Yes, Woody, good yeah. job. Cooper, what is the color of an emerald? Uh, green. Yes, killing it. What is something you hit with a hammer, Todd? A nail. Yes, what is the name of the place you go to see lots of animals, Rowan? Zoo. Yes, guys, you got so fun. Whose nose grew longer every time he lied? Cooper. Pinocchio. Oh my goodness. What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? Todd. Tinkerbell. Yes. If you freeze water, what do you get? Rowan. Ice. Oh, what are the colours of the stars on the American flag? Cooper. What? Oh, in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill, what do Jack and Jill go up a hill to fetch? 
Todd. A pail of water. You guys are absolutely smashing it. Where does the President of the United States live while in office? Rowan. Um, America. Yep, yep, that's exactly right. How many planets are in our solar system? Coop. I... Yes. No, oh, Which... oh, yes, that was yeah, right. Yeah. 80 no, yeah, no, 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 no. Which ocean is off the California coast, Todd? Uh, I don't know. Ah, what fruit do kids no. usually <laughs> give to teachers? Rowan, what fruit do you give to a teacher? Um, raspberries. Yep, we always give raspberries, absolutely. What's the response to see you later, alligator? Cooper. In a while, crocodile. Guys, we have three seconds to clock. Which Disney movie is Elsa and Todd? <laughs> I don't know if we can. Yeah, I think Five. we missed that one, eh? <laughs> like, can you believe, guys? You pretty much got that all right. I'm going to give you 14 out of 14 as a team. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, guys, I'm actually shocked. I don't know why I'm shocked. I think it's because we did this in such a mad rush and you guys were working together and you answered the questions so fast. Whew. Is anyone else sweaty? Just me? Just me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sweaty. Yeah. Knees week. Oh, so good. Did you have fun, Rowan? How was that? You answered all of your questions correctly. Yeah. You're pretty smart, aren't you? Just try it out again. Never get a pepper. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> In a while, crocodile. Oh, so good. Well done to the three of you guys. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Do you have any other favourite sayings, Rowan? Rowan? Oh, I've got that. Hey, what about, what's that one again? Right, I'm Scottish. It's Scottish accent. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Scottish. <laughs> oh, I'm Scottish. Oh, my, my that's so good. My mum and granny can talk Scottish. Ooh, lovely. Okay. Todd, give us your best lovely Scottish lovely. accent. Okay. What? Oh, I don't have no Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cooper? Uh, no chance. I got, no, no, I can't do that. <laughs> pass. Hard pass. It's all you, Rowan. You got this. Oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, say, you know, speak Scottish. Jenny. <laughs> what else can you say? What else can you say? I don't know if that's the right accent I'm doing. <laughs> Teach me, Rowan. Yeah. Oh, I, I can talk Scottish. I can, I can talk Amer American. Oh, what? I, I can talk um, Irish. Oh, Sherry Sherisher. <laughs> Sherry Sherisher. Irish. Top of the morning, do you? Oh, so good. Oh, guys. Sherry Sherisher. Sure, sure, sure. This has been amazing. We've gone sure, from sure, accents sure. to food, McDonald's, bikes, and everything in between, Todd. We've had so much fun. Thank you so much. Oh, we're still going. What about barbecue? What was that, Robin? Um, we, we, we got something about um, a barbecue, too, and some steak and some, um, what about, what about, um, what about Lego? That's right. That's right. We were talking about barbecues. We were talking about steaks. We were talking about Todd's cooking skills and how Cooper makes the best steak out there. It's been a great chat. How's it been? Yeah, pretty, it's been pretty cool. <laughs> it's been so good. And Todd, we have so many people watching from our hospital community. They are amazing. Patients, families, also the healthcare workers themselves. They're all out there. So shout out to you guys. But Todd, do you have a special message that you want to share to them? Thanks for watching in guys. Uh, my message for today would be keep positive. I know better than anyone hospitals. I've been in a lot of hospitals and the thing that really helps me is keep positive and trying to interact with the staff. You know, make sure you say thanks to the guys and um, treat them how you want to be treated. And I find that uh, I make a lot of friends in the hospital and it becomes a lot of, a lot better place to be if you're trying to feel happy. So try and keep that nice, warm feeling in your stomach. I know things are bad, um, 
it's not normally a good thing if you're in hospital, but you know, the people who are in there, they're amazing at what they do, trust what they do, um, and be grateful for having the support from the hospital staff. That's my biggest, my biggest max, uh, message. Thanks for chatting to us, Todd. I really enjoyed it. Not a problem, Cooper. Thanks for tuning in. Lovely to be here. And I hope uh, we passed a bit of time and made you feel a little bit happier about everything. Thanks for chatting, Todd. Todd, Ooh. Cooper, Rowan. Guys, thank you so much for so much fun this morning. And everyone, we'll catch you on the next virtual visit. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya.